Welcome to you, our world leaders, the United Nations Environment Assembly, ladies and gentlemen. I am Zawadi Kayo, a young environmentalist from Kenya, and today I would like us to talk about our app in 2050. Jimmy Carter said, like music and art, love of nature is a common language that can transcend political and social boundaries. Of the nine planets of the world, only the earth can support life. In fact, the earth is a common thing that we share, and it is for that reason that we should take good care of our environment for today and tomorrow's generation. Every day my heart pains as I see people destroy the earth. The 2004 Nobel Peace Prize winner Wangara Madhai was wise to remind us that the problem is that the generation that destroys the environment is not the generation that will pay the price. The increased human activities in the Congo forest is a threat to the future of the African rivers. We are cutting down trees of the Congo forest and if that continues then many water area catchments in Kenya like the Karura forest will dry. And you know the Congo forest ensures a balanced ecosystem. The Sahara Desert continues to march southwards and that spells doom. I would say the same to the Amazon. If the Amazon is distracted, which is already happening, then South America will be in trouble, especially the water poor countries like Chile. Every country needs to cut plant five. If for every tree we cut, we should plant five. And this should be on the law. The ever-increasing human population adding more pressure on the environment through industrialization, polluting air, water, and grass. The carbon emissions into the air destroying the protective ozone layer and causing the death of flora and fauna. Global warming is real, my people. The question is, what do we do? It starts from you and me, taking care of our environment. And for this, we need international laws for environmental conservation. Or if we don't follow these rules, then in 2050, we will miss the beautiful anacondas of the Amazon and the beautiful dancing chimpanzees of the Congo forest. I would ask the for you, me, and everyone, the earth will just become to another Venus. I would ask the United Nations Environmental Assembly to increase to increase campaigns for afforestation and carbon emissions. Otherwise, I would like to see all of you in 2050 when I'll be 37 years old in a beautiful environment smelling fresh from the plants but only if you plant me a tree. So, will you plant me a tree? Thank you. Mm -hmm.